Okay, and my name is Alison Peacock. I'm a trainee here at Freshman. And as a trainee solicitor, I do research, I take notes, I attend witness interviews, and I'm just kind of general helping out wherever I can. Uh, I'm Craig Montgomery. I'm a partner at Freshfields, and um, I studied law at Glasgow uh, in the late 1990s. And here at Freshfields, uh, I'm in the litigation department. I do a lot of insolvency work. My name is Jonathan Lafferty. I actually did history of art at Glasgow University, so I'm not a Scots lawyer by background. Um, and in my practice, I specialise at the moment in uh, work in the courts. So, yeah, from the beginning, this is where I really wanted to be. Um, I knew I, from an embarrassingly early age that I wanted to be a lawyer, but I hadn't necessarily decided that I wanted to be a lawyer in, in London. When I was living in England at the time with my parents, and so I consciously chose to go to Glasgow because I liked the idea of practicing in Scotland. But once I found out more about law firms and the different types of work they did, it was really important for me to, to go somewhere where I could do a really international range of work, and that really meant London. And uh, I, so I interviewed at a range of firms, and Fresh Post was the one that I, I liked the best. Um, well, I was born and grew up in Glasgow, so for me it was a conscious decision to actually come down to London to work. A bit like Craig, I wanted a firm that had an international uh, footprint and the work that that gave. I was a teacher for a couple of years before I was a lawyer. Um, in fact, my father's a lawyer and my mother's a teacher. And they said, Jonathan, you can do whatever you want to do, just don't be a lawyer or a teacher. So I think I've let them, let them both down. For me it would be having more than just your studies, like I think the importance of being able to talk about something else in your interview that isn't just law. And so it's really important as a lawyer to have something else in your life to allow you to kind of depressurise and put everything in perspective and I think that's really important in the application process as well because that can become all consuming, you can focus just on that but it's actually really good practice for working here and working in, as a law, lawyer in the city to be able to put that to one side and, as Alison said, have other interests. I agree with both of those things. That we're looking for a range of, of skills in people we recruit as lawyers, um, such as resilience, determination, organisation, but you don't just have to demonstrate those through your studies. If you've got a wider range of examples, you've been involved in societies, you've been on a sports team, you've worked a job at the same time as your studies and had to juggle that, those are all really great examples of how your skills that you developed as a younger age can be brought into the workplace. So we're looking for people who can show that a university and their other lives are really packing their diary with stuff and like to keep busy because that's what they'll be doing here. Uh, is, are you the kind of person when it's three in the morning and we've got a deadline a few hours time and we've, you know, we're under a lot of pressure, can you still make you know, that deadline and make sure that we work together as a team? Well, working in an international law firm for international fines, you often face some interesting cultural differences and having lived and worked abroad and having been curious, as you said, great to explore the world, puts you in a far better position to deal with that than you might otherwise be. You don't need to have studied law in order to, to practice. England is different from Scotland, you don't need to have a law degree. So a lot of, about 40% of the people we hire for training contracts haven't studied law. So if you've done history or languages or something like that, um, all of that adds into the mix of um, the range of diverse people that we want to have um, at all levels in the organisation. One of the reasons I really love working here at Freshfields is that the training the firm offers and that continues on and on and on. I think there's a sense when you finish your legal studies and you arrive here, that's it, you're working. But as we all know, the law changes constantly. Yeah, and I love the, uh, the people that you get to work with here at all levels. Everyone's really good at their job, really has a good time doing it and doesn't take themselves too seriously. Well, I love living and working in London because it's not just the capital of the UK. I mean, it's one of the capitals of the world. Um, that obviously is important for our work, but in terms of social life, of cultural things to do, the people you meet, it's just a really, really fulfilling and wide horizon experience. Yeah, I agree with that. So if, if I decide tonight that I want to have a 
an Ethiopian or a Georgian meal or go to some Japanese theatre, I yeah. can do that. I don't, of course, but I like the idea that I could. There's, could. A, there's a great Ethiopian restaurant actually not far from me. I, I would very much recommend it. <laughs> for me, I get to do things that I otherwise wouldn't do in my spare time when I'm not here. I do aerial circuits and I know that that's not something I would have that many opportunities to do at home. So being able to leave here, go and hang upside down to Mr. P's for an hour and then maybe come back here, maybe go home. <laughs> yeah. It's an opportunity I, I wouldn't have back at home, I don't think. So what are the downsides of it? It's obviously it takes hours to get it anywhere. Yep, yeah, there's that. <laughs> You've been stuck on a bus for an hour on the way in every morning, that can be a bit frustrating. The price of rent is quite high. And it's not the kind of place that you have to stay forever. Lots of people at this firm and, and elsewhere work in London when they're in their 20s and 30s, maybe when they have families move out. So, you know, a move to London to work at Fresh Foods isn't you signing away the rest of your, your life to be down here. And London's a very well connected city as well, so you can you can fly anywhere in the world from London. So you weekends in Europe or flying to see clients in, so this week I've been in Gibraltar and Istanbul visiting clients, very easy to get there. Easy to get back to Glasgow. Yes. Because you look so relaxed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>